In the previous video, we have bearings and distances obtained using compass and uh, tape measurement. And we use that to plot this survey plan. So in this video, we are going to use coordinates. So it is assumed that we use an instrument such as the GPS or we use a, a tutelar traverse to make angular observations and at the end of the day we computed the coordinate of the four points so we are going to use these coordinates which are in utm that is universal transverse marketo coordinate they are in meters they are linear coordinates which are different from the geographical coordinates which are always in degrees or in a degree minute and second so this set of coordinates are in meters and they are based on UTM zone 32 degrees north because they are located in Nigeria. The difference between this UTM that is the grid or rectangular coordinate and the geographical coordinate is something that has to be covered in a separate video. So at this point just understand that these coordinates are in meters and each of these points was has this corresponding coordinate so we are going to learn how to plot this in a autocad or using a draft site so first thing first is to state the drawing format so the format for plotting coordinates in draft site or autocad is simply the eastern coordinate which is the same thing as x value comma then the northern coordinate of a point which is the same thing as the y value so basically if it is a max it will just be something like x comma y this is a max while in survey, we call it Eastin and Nordins. This is in survey. So they are basically referring to the same thing. X comma Y, Eastin comma Nordins. So that is the concept of plotting using coordinates. So it means for the first point, our data for the plotting will be will look like this Eastern comma nodding without space. Likewise, the second point will now be Eastern comma nodding without space. The third point will also be Eastern comma nodding without the space. And the fourth point will now be Eastern comma nodding without the space. So this is how we are going to plot each and every point using uh, the coordinate uh, grid coordinate method so let me go back to the drawing software so this is from the previous drawing using bearings and distances so in this new drawing you just click on this button to open a new drawing section so already i have one here open already so i can easily switch between the tabs so first thing first is to save this drawing environment so i'll click on the save button go to my project folder this i'm going to name it as site plan 2 and then the format i'll just give the default format as a dot dwg version 2013 so i'll click on save then i need to do the settings just as a as we did in the previous video you need to go to manage can click on the options button or go straight to the unit button then set the settings we know our base coordinate starts from the north which is 90 in the case of this uh, draft site software and our angular measurements start from a uh, clockwise in direction so i'll check clockwise then i know my unit of measurement are in meters so i'll select the unit then my decimals 
my lengths are in decimals. What about the precision? That is the number of decimal places. So here I have a uh, three. I'll go back to the data. You see that all my data are to three decimal places. After the decimal point, I have three digits. So that is why I'm selecting the precision as 0 0.000 in, in three places. And then my angles, I prefer reading my angles in degree meter seconds. Then the precision of the angle, I will, I will, I will keep it to degree minutes. Mm, what you, if you have different, if you need more precision, you can select any of these options. But this is fine for me. So, and this is the preview of my settings. Now click on OK. Then we'll click on Save to make sure that we have applied all our settings properly. So the first thing you need to do to plot the first point. Remember, the first point has this coordinate. So I can easily copy it, then go back to my drawing. Then I'll pick a line. Or let me use point. Let me use circle for this since it's just a point with a coordinate. So I'll click on circle. Then specify the coordinate of the point. I'll right click and paste the coordinate. Then hit the enter button. So as you can see, it has plotted the circle. But we still need to specify the radius of that circle. So I'm going to use just two meters in this case. If it's too big, I can use it later. So type two and then hit enter. So I've plotted the first point. And as you can see, we cannot see it on this drawing view. This is because the coordinate of this environment is not to our screen view. If you look at the bottom here, when I'm moving the mouse, the coordinate is changing. But the coordinate is very small compared to the coordinate of our data, which is in thousands. And here we have the coordinate in tens. So what I need to do is to zoom to extent. So the shortcut is just to press Z, enter, then E for extent, enter, and then to zoom to that point. So this is the first point. So if I select it, you will see that the coordinate of that circle is exactly what to have from our field measurement. So I need to plot the second point. So I will just copy the second point now. Then I need to click on cycle. Then specify the coordinate of the second point. Hit enter. Then of course the radius of the cycle is two. Now plot the third point. I'll repeat the same process. Cycle. Enter the coordinate. Enter. Then the radius of the circle is two. This is the third point. Repeat the same thing for the fourth point, which is the last point. Cycle. Specify the center of the circle, which is the coordinate. Enter. Specify the radius as two. Enter. So these are the four points. So it is as easy as that. So when I'm done, with plotting the points, then I need to join them with a line. So just pick your line, click at the center of each of the circle, around, and then enter to terminate. So this is the plot using coordinate method. So before we do some other things, I would like to show you some other couple of methods you can use to plot the same. Uh, coordinate the same plot of land using uh, the coordinate method so let me just quickly select all and then delete so an automatic way to do this instead of entering the data one after the other is simply type in the coordinates in this format repeat the last one copy all your coordinates then go back to your drawing area pick line for example 
then click to specify the coordinates then type c for close to close your drawing so this is exactly the same process we have done earlier but this is a little bit simplified and automated so if you have hundreds of points to plot basically this will save you a lot of time when you just arrange the coordinate in the right format and then copy and paste so after doing that you can now add your cycles let me reduce i'm going to reduce the radius of this to one save so i just need to copy the circle to remaining three points so you can see we have the same drawing from the previous one so if i select any of the point any of the lines you will see that we have the bearing and the distance which is exactly the same as what we have in the previous uh, drawing so the first line we have 102 and then 30 meters so if you go back to our drawing where you select the first line that's between point 0.1 and point 0.2 you have 102 degrees and then 30 meters so if your linear measurement is not showing this precision to so three decimal places make sure you go back to your settings manage the unit settings and then set your linear precision to three decimal places likewise if i select the first point i will see the coordinates just the way they are from our raw data the one we collected from the site so this is how to go about uh, plotting using coordinates then the remaining things we need to add are just like we have we have done previously so i'm not going to waste time to do that i will just copy the template from here and then paste it over there so here we have a i've selected the title the not arrow and then the border line so i'll just right click and then copy to clipboard or simply ctrl c to copy then go back to my new drawing right click and then paste so i'll paste it somewhere just like this so here i have my title and my borderline then also i need to label the point so i can simply come back to my previous drawing select my labels right click and then copy to clipboard note that there is different between copy to clipboard and then this copy this copy to clipboard will allow you to copy from one drawing to another why this is to copy within a particular drawing so i copy to clipboard right click and then paste then i can just position it like this i can move if i'm not satisfied with the placement of the of the labels let's move this a little bit closer so also the bearings i can do that just copy let's copy this first right click copy to clipboard come back here then paste you can move if you are not satisfied with the placement so if you select the line you should see that the bearing is the same as what you have in the other drawing even the distance is the same in this case i'm going to edit the distance to have 0 0.00 since that is our precision for this uh, drawing so here i have completed the remaining bearings and distance for the other three lines so even the area will still be the same thing as the previous one because it's the same site so let me measure the area to verify that for you so i'll just type area on the command line hit enter 
then click around the plot of land to calculate the area so make sure you are clicking at the correct point press enter and then you see that my area is roughly the same as what we have let me redo it probably because i did not click properly so let me zoom in closely click the first point zoom in closely click the second point zoom in click the third point and the last point then now hit enter to calculate the area okay the area is still giving us the same thing so the area is slightly different from what we have previously but if you approximate it to still be the same it will still give you the same value which is 900 square meter so usually you should expect this kind of discrepancies due to difference in measurement and the accuracy of the instrument you are using as well so all our bearings and distances are the same as you can see so the area is just a matter of copying what you have here and then pasting it over there so this is the approximate area which is the same thing as what we have previously so the only additional information we are going to have here is the coordinates of this point which is very vital and also if you link this measurement to a reference control point it will also be good if you state the coordinate of that reference point so here i'm going to type in this coordinate so i could just paste what i've copied earlier expand it a little so here i have the list of coordinates for each of the points so let me type the title list of coordinates list of coordinates so i can bold this and then centralize it and then let me also underline it so this is my list of coordinates click outside i can move move it inside a little so here i have my list of coordinates which are based on utm zoom 32 degrees north because the location is nigeria so basically this is what we need to do when you are plotting using coordinates remember if you need to share this or print it out it's just a matter of going to save it go to print then select your paper size select your printer let's print it to pdf select the orientation select the paper size let me use a4 a4 portrait select the orientation then specify the region you want to print everything within the box then uh, you need to set the scale but i'll just leave it to fit to paper size since this is just for demonstration sake then make sure you you have this checked print on center of paper if not in some cases it will be to one side of the paper so if i click on ok and then i can just save it as a pdf which i can share with anybody or print it out from any using any printer so this is it basically